would have like a sort of a waste uh, percentage of like 50 percent. Within a factory, a wood factory like this, um, the, the wood that comes in in plank form, 50 to 80 percent of that is just going to be left as chippings. So we want to like create something with, with this material. So we started experimenting with resins and glues and different combinations mixed with the wood chippings until we stumbled across this process where resin mixed with water and wood chips starts a foaming reaction and starts to foam out. So we have like a selection of different kind of wood chips that we can, um, we can play around with to, to create a perfect mixture of like to create a shell. It's like a kind of recipe where you take very fine sawdust for the, the surface texture, you take the longer grain for uh, the strength that that gives, and then you take, say, like a more curled chipping from a planer, which traps air and then helps with the expansion. We try to control it, but it's pretty hard. We call this the World Proven Chair because we, we relate it quite often to the process of baking bread, the point where you mix up your dough and then leave it to rise to prove it. There's this, this element of chance that happens. You, you can never quite tell which, which shape your loaf is going to come out. And it's sort of got this semi kind of monsterish, blobby quality to it. So the bench is a concept of pushing wood as far as possible, and in this case ash. So I constructed a bench that is 3.5 meter long, with only supported uh, on the ends. The design is a lightweight structure, and the legs uh, are bolted on and come off. So doing so, uh, the, the transportation become much more efficient. To achieve this strange, I formed a lattice structure that is uh, sealed with uh, seating strips top and bottom. Doing so creates a system that is strong in all four axes. The weekend benchmark has been really great and it's uh, nice to be on the countryside and I really enjoy it a lot here and uh, with all amazing people.